Let's take a look at this brand spanking new machine by Breville or by Sage, depending on where you live in the world. And it is this, the Barista Touch Impress. This machine includes all the newest features from the Breville Group, including the Thermojet technology so that it heats up really quick, an incredible steam wand here that steams milk with the best of them, the really cool impress puck tamping system, as well as automatic milk steaming. So we're gonna take a look at this machine today and see how it works, have a look at the features and have a discussion who is this machine for. So let's just get started with it right away. You'll see something new, by the way, with this machine. It's got a new Barazza burr set in the grinder and you can make the adjustment here on the side. Now there's 30 dial adjustments shown on the screen, but it is stepless. So that's kind of a nice newer upgrade for this machine. Something else that I really do appreciate is that they include in the water tank here a magnet so there's a sensor that way you know when you're about to run out of water which I find very important as I mentioned you've got a really excellent steam one this is probably the best that I've used so far of all the machines when I'm steaming with this manually I can get some really excellent silky milk of course the machine comes with the 54 millimeter portafilter, and it does also come with both a double and a single non-pressurized basket, as well as a double and a single pressurized basket. All right, well, the machine does include all these nice new features, but I would say the star of the show is really the HMI here. So the HMI is excellent. It's got a good resolution, and I think it's pretty intuitive. It's a nice design, and let's just have a closer look at it now. All right, so let's take a look at the menu here. You are greeted right away with a beautiful cappuccino with latte art on it as the start picture. And then here you see the drinks that we've got on the menu. And you'll notice that it's actually pretty responsive, which is nice to see. Also, it's got a good resolution. It's a nice screen. And it is just for reference, four inches diagonal or 10 centimeters. So let's just have a look into the espresso, for example. And you're met here with three icons. So the first icon is for grinding. And here you'll see that we're at grind setting 10 and we're using the double basket here. Then you've got your extraction here and we are doing the two cup extraction. The icon does gray out if you don't have a portafilter inserted. Insert the portafilter and then you can grind. Just the same, you can stop the grind. I'm going to abort it in this case. And then the next one, of course, is the extraction. So same thing with that. You can start it there and stop it from the same icon. So let's take a look at a milk-based drink. Let's have a look at the flat white. Here you're gonna see the familiar first two icons here for grinding and for the extraction. And then now I've got a third icon, and this is for the milk. So if we press on there, we can see the parameters. The temperature is set at 65 degrees here, which is really very hot. Sometimes I move it down to 60 degrees. The froth level is the amount of froth that you get in your canister. Four works pretty well for me. And then finally, you can choose between different types of milk, whether that's dairy, almond, oat, or soy. Something else that's really interesting that you notice about this display is that you can from the screens also just turn on the water if you like so that's a really nice feature if you want to warm up your cup for example it just shoots out of there out of the water spot and additionally you can just steam from any screen as well so those are some nice features now let's go back and see what they all offer we've got espresso latte a flat white cappuccino cafe crema a long black, a hot chocolate, and baby chino, tea, and then milk. Something else that I wanted to mention is that the long black will actually start with the extraction first and then with the water, but you can flip it around and just hit the water to start that first. Now let's take a look into the menu, what we've all got here. The first part of the settings menu uh, has to do with cleaning and with maintenance. Then you've got intelligent brew setup, your intelligent dose as well as a, uh, the brew temperature you can change too. Default is at 93 degrees. You can go up to 94, 95, 96, 97, and same way you can go down from there. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So we're just gonna keep that on the default for now. 
They've also got some other cool features in here, like a coffee tutorial, your customized drinks, which you can name as you like, and then the date and time and units, language, and so on. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. All right, now that we've taken a look at the display, let's just use the machine. Let's make an espresso and let's make a cappuccino. So to make an espresso is very easy. All you have to do is put the porta filter here in the loading dock and then press the button to grind. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the impress puck tamping system. And it's saying we should use a little more. So let's do a little more. Okay, and now we are right on. So that's what the puck looks like right there. That's a nice puck. And what's really cool about this adaptive dosing system with this impressed tamper is the fact that it knows how far down that the plunger goes and therefore it can say, do you need a little bit more or a little bit less? And it remembers that for next time. Okay. And now let's just press the button and start our extraction. Alrighty, there we go. A nice, beautiful shot there with some delicious looking crema on top. And I was expecting that because I do have the machine dialed in and I'm also using nice freshly roasted beans with a good portion of Robusta. Now let's just give it a taste. Mmm, that's a good one. It's nice and balanced. It's got some nice chocolatey notes certainly some sweetness coming out and it's lacking any kind of astringency. This is a nice tasty shot. Now let's go ahead and make ourselves a milk based drink. Let's make a cappuccino. So there's two ways that you can make a cappuccino. You can steam with this automatically or you can also steam manually. Let's try it automatically first. All we have to do is flip up the steam wand, put it in there, and let's press the button to steam. Now what's super nice about this automatic steaming is that you can do other things in the meantime. That's the temperature sensor right down there. Now you can see it's churning pretty well. Okay, all done. So it's going to do an automatic purge now, which is really excellent. Let's pour ourselves a cappuccino now. Okay, and there it is, a nice cappuccino, just like that. Now, I would say let's go ahead and do the manual frothing and see how that works out. So we're gonna pull another shot. Bit more, all right. Right on. I like to do it a couple more times too to polish the puck real nice. And that's what the puck looks like. Ooh, nice. Now, part of the reason that I like steaming so much with this machine is it's got a really, really nice, powerful steam coming out of these four tips. So I think that is the reason it works so well. And it's also more or less a non-burn steam wand. It doesn't get all too hot. All right, so to steam manually, we will just have it up in this position and press the manual button. Okay, so you can see it's got some really excellent steam power. 
It's really easy to get that milk just churning and turning like in a whirlpool. All right, that's starting to get plenty hot already. That milk turned out really silky, delightful. Okay, ooh, that is beautiful. Mm. Look at that, beautiful cappuccinos. All right, so you can see here why I'm so delighted with the manual frothing. That's the one here on the left. You can get it super silky. The one on the right is pretty good for automatic, I do have to admit. But with the one on the left, you got even more control over the steam power. Now let's talk about who this machine might be for. This machine is excellent for somebody who would also like, like a super automatic machine, but wants to have better drinks. This machine guides you a lot more than a normal espresso machine does with the adaptive dosing, tamping system, with the touch display, which gives you a lot of guidance in what to do next, as well as an excellent, excellent steamer. So with that being said, I think this is great for people who want a little bit more ease in their coffee making, but want better coffee than what you get from a super automatic. If you're thinking about getting a super automatic, like a Eura or like an expensive Siemens, they end up in the one to $2,000 area. And that is pretty expensive. This machine can make certainly better drinks and for kind of a similar price range. Um, as far as wife acceptance factor goes or partner acceptance factor, my wife gives it a 10 out of 10 because she's able to use it very easily. So for her it's intuitive and therefore I have to say this is a nice ergonomic machine and gets full points for the partner acceptance factor. And I guess that's about it. As far as negatives go, I mean the grinder is a little bit slow. It's about one gram per second. That could be faster but otherwise I really am having a hard time coming up with negative features on this machine. It's really nice. All right, so here's the disclosure for this video. I'm not getting paid to make it. I did get approached by Sage in Europe and they asked me, they said, Tom, would you like to try out some of our new products? And I said, heck yeah, I would. If I want, I can make a video and I just send the machine back. So this is on loan and I'm just going to return it after I've tested it for a while. If you would like to buy this machine or just check the price and if you click on the link and buy anything at all, then I get a little provision. So thanks for watching and that's the disclosure. So with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you learned something. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy cappuccino drinking.